Hey friends, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, then welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, in today's video, we have a super duper exciting one. I haven't been excited for a video like this in a really long time. So we have the new Wet n Wild X Stitch PR collection. So early Sunday morning, I was looking through the new arrivals on Ulta and I seen this PR box and I debated you guys for probably like two hours because when the Care Bears collection came out, I was gonna get it, but it sold out so fast that I didn't have time to. So after waiting a couple hours, I decided to place an order. It was $74.99. So I ended up placing the order and I went back on like an hour later and it was completely sold out. And I was so relieved that I was actually able to get my hands on it before it sold out. So today's Tuesday and I ordered this on Sunday morning. And this came to my doorstep early this morning. I was shocked to see that Ulta had delivered this package so fast. But let's not waste time talking because I have to pick my daughter up in two hours. So I have to make sure I get this video done within that time frame. Oh my god, you guys, look how freaking cute this collection is. So I used to watch the Lilo and Stitch movie all the time when I was a kid. It was one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and read off everything that's in this box and then we'll get started. I usually don't do videos when I'm in a rush like this because sometimes they can come out like crap. So I'm going to try to do my best. Oh wow, I just clicked on the Wet n Wild Stitch PR box and it says that this is no longer available. Because I know when I checked on Sunday on Wet n Wild's website, it was not available on there yet. It says it's coming soon to Wet n Wild's website. This collector's set includes the following items from Stitch Times Wet n Wild collection. Flying High Waterproof Mascara, Carefree Waterproof Eyeliner Set, No Bad Days Setting Mist, Hula Honey Glow Palette, Soaking Up Rays Body Illuminizer, Life's A Beach Exfoliating Multi Scrub, Chillin' Wet n Wild Lip Gloss, Three Shades, Catch and Waves Sponge and Scrubber Set, and Ahano Shadow Palette. So I'm not going to take everything individually out of the box and show you just yet because I do want to get this video started. Just to put something on my lips, I'm going to take this gloss. This is the Wet n Wild Stitch Gloss Chillin'. So this is the clearest gloss in the shade Surf's Up. After this, we're actually going to move in with the eyes. So this is just like Wet n Wild's regular packaging for their lipsticks. Okay, this feels really nice and it's super lightweight. But I did want to show you guys the face palette before we jump into the eyeshadow palette. Look how huge this is, you guys. I was not expecting it to be this big. I thought it was going to be like one of their smaller palettes. So I'm really excited for this. Okay, so again, this is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in the shade Ahana or Ohana. So here is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. It has Lilo and Stitch right down here. And then here is this beautiful palette. I am so excited to play around with this. So this is a face and eye palette. Ahana means family and Lilo and Stitch are forever. I'm only going to be doing one look today. I'm going to take the Ace Beauté Amplifying Eyeshadow Base. So since Stitch is blue, I think I'm going to use the blue shades. So I'm going to take the Morphe JH40 brush. So it's a small blending brush. And I'm first going to take this deep blue matte shade. So right off the bat, it seems super pigmented. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to apply it in the outer V and also the crease. So I will go back in with that shade, but first I want to blend it out. I'm going to take the lighter blue matte shade, but I feel like this palette is so fitting for Lilo and Stitch. Kind of wondering why they called it just Stitch and not Lilo and Stitch. But I'm going to go ahead and start blending out this deeper blue shade. And I'm using a BH number 8 brush. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. Just blend this out. I'm still going to take the BH brush and I'm going to go back in with that deeper blue. And I'm slowly going to pack this back down in through the crease, but also blend upwards. So I really wanted to cut the crease, but I do not have time because I really want to get through the whole collection. So the first shimmer shade I want to go in with is going to be this yellow one. This is going to go on the inner part of the lid. So it's not like a super nice yellow shade, but it's not horrible. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray my brush. I'm going to take this blue shimmer shade, go right here next to the yellow. Now that's a really pretty shade. It's not like super pigmented like I thought it was going to be. Okay, now I feel the look is starting to come together. For a little bit there, I was kind of worried. I'm going back in with that deep matte blue shade. It's going to tap it right here. So we have mascara and we also have eyeliner to use, but I'm not going to use those until we get to the lower lash line. So really quickly, I'm going to get off camera. I'm going to do eyeliner and lashes and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I just realized I think I was supposed to get a brush set with this collection. At least that's what it said on Ulta's website. And also this body luminizer spill all over everything and the sticker is pretty much coming right off. So I won't be using the body luminizer today. And then also it came with a Life's a Beach exfoliating multi scrub. 
So this is really cute, you guys, and it comes with a little scooper inside, which I will not be using this either. For some reason, I thought it was a lip scrub, but it's not. It's like a body scrub. But yeah, that body luminizer got everything, and thankfully, it wasn't like glittery. It was like oily. But yes, I think I was supposed to get the brush set, which is a little disappointing because that's exactly what it said on Ulta's website. So next up, we have the Wet n Wild Catch and Wave sets. So it comes with a sponge, which I already got wet. I love the color of the sponge. And then it also comes with this surfboard. So this is like a brush and sponge cleaning pad, which I think is really cute. So it is like silicone, but look how freaking cute, you guys. I love when these types of collections come with little things like this. I'm going to take a little bit of my Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer, and then we're going to go in with a foundation to test out the sponge. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. So I've already tried Wet n Wild sponges in the past, ones that looked identical to this, but this is huge and it has a print of stitch in it. Like how freaking cute. So I kind of like that this is big because it makes blending foundation a lot easier and faster. Oh, this is really, really nice. I really like this so far. And if my face looks lighter than my neck, I do apologize. I went to the beach last week and I did get quite a bit of a tan. I would definitely say I'm more burnt, but hopefully it does turn to a tan. Guys, I only have like an hour left that I'm going to be able to film, so I'm hoping I can get this done. So I'm starting to wonder, did Ulta take this collection off their website because it's not supposed to be released yet? I'm really curious because now as soon as you click on it, it doesn't say anything. It just doesn't even let you go to the page. Whereas yesterday when I was looking at let you go to the page, it just said it was out of stock. Using cream bronzer or anything like that too, because I do want to test the pigment in the face palette. So I'm just going to be taking my Item Beauty Concealer. This sponge is super soft and it really gets the job done. Okay, it blended that concealer out beautifully. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, so next up we have the face palette. So this is the Hula Honey Glow Face Palette. So you get two matte bronzer shades and then two highlighting shades. And I like that there is different shades for different skin tones. So it says, do a cheeky hula with stitch. This glow palette features powders with a smooth, buttery texture that seamlessly melts into the skin. And two bronzer and two highlighter shades to achieve an island, sunlit, warmth, and glow. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here it's stamped aloha okay so i picked up a lot of product i'm taking the bh and number three brush and i'm just gonna start tapping this where i would normally bronze so i would say this is like the perfect in between a cool tone and a warm tone bronzer so i can definitely tell that this is a very very smooth bronzer it's taken a little to build up but i don't mind this is probably going to be my favorite part of the whole collection because i love face palettes I'm just going to take my Ofra Mini Mix Blush Palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. It's not a highlight. I'm going to take this shade from the face palette. This is a really pretty shade. So I feel like this shade might be a little bit too dark for me. I mean, it doesn't look bad and it's still a really pretty shade. And I'm just going to take a pencil brush for my nose. So I'm also going to use the highlighting shade to highlight my inner corner because there isn't a light enough shade in the eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this palette just so you guys can see what the shades look like. So here are all four swatches and these are very, very smooth shades. Okay, so now that we got the face done, we're going to go ahead and set everything in place. So I'm going to take the No Bad Days Hydrating Setting Mist. I mean, this is still very greasy from the body luminizer. So it smells really good like vacation. Now the mister isn't super fine. Like with the SpongeBob one that I have, the mister on that was so fine. So I'm just going to go back in with the sponge just to tap this out. So I was thinking for the lower lash line, I wanted to do something maybe a little bit different and maybe go in with some reds. But then again, I don't want to throw the whole look off because we know that Stitch always has those red sunglasses on. Or no, you know what? So let's go ahead in with the deep blue we used. Lightly gonna run this right up under the lash line. I don't want the lash line super crazy because we do have a blue eyeliner to use. Now I'm gonna take the matte yellow from the palette and I'm just gonna run this right under the blue shade to kind of smoke it out. 
So next we have the Carefree Waterproof Eyeliner Set. So it looks like you get a dark blue and a black. So here are what the eyeliners and the packaging looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them both on the back of my hand. Okay, so the black one, it doesn't feel super creamy. Try the blue. Because Wet n Wild's original eyeliners are really good. So again, not like incredibly creamy, but we're gonna apply the blue one to the waterline. Okay, again, so it gave me a little bit of pigment, but it's not as pigmented as I would have expected from Wet n Wild. And it's also not waterproof because I was able to wipe it right off with a towel that wasn't even wet. Next up, we have the Flying High Waterproof Mascara. Again, I don't typically use like waterproof mascaras, but we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully I'm able to get it off tonight. So here's what the packaging looks like. Again, I absolutely love the packaging on everything. And then here is what the wand looks like. So it has really small bristles. This is definitely interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a mascara wand that looks like this. So I'm gonna use this for the lower lashes. So honestly, I think this mascara is all right. It's not the best I've ever tried, but it's not bad. So last up, we have the three lip shades. So of course we have the clear one that I used earlier, again, in the shade Surf's Up. Then we have this pinky tone one, which is really pretty in the shade Got the Scoop. And then we have the last one, which is more of a red sparkly shade in the color Just Rock. So let me go ahead and swatch them on the back of the hand. Um, I'm not even gonna swatch the clear one because it's kind of pointless because it's clear. So here is what the pink shade looks like. It is so pigmented and so pretty. Here is the red shade. So let me go ahead and throw on a pink lip liner and then we're gonna go in with the pink gloss again in the shade Get the Scoop. I'm just gonna use my favorite lip liner at the moment. It's the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Curious. Now taking the lip gloss. Oh, look at that pretty shade. Okay, so this also has a little bit of sparkle in it as well, but it's not like a lot. Okay, guys, so we are done with this look. Let's go ahead and recap everything. So for the eyeshadow palette, um, I actually really like this, you guys. With today's look, it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted because I had to rush. But other than that, the shades were really, really pigmented and they blended out really well. So I would definitely recommend the palette. This alone on Ulta's website, I think is around $16. For the setting spray, I always love me a good hydrating setting spray. So I'm excited to keep trying this out. But honestly, if it performs like any other Wet n Wild setting spray, then I'll absolutely love it. For the Hula Honey Face Palette, you guys, 10 out of 10 stars. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the whole collection because personally for me, I love me a good face palette and this one performed so well. So for the three lip glosses, these retail for I think $6 on Ulta's website. If you love these shades and you love Stitch, then you're probably going to want to get these. As for the eyeliners, I don't think that these are necessary because they're not super pigmented. Now they are waterproof, so we're going to see throughout the day how long these actually last on the waterline and I'll keep you guys updated in the description box. For the mascara, again, it's not really necessary unless you're buying like the whole PR box, then you're gonna get everything. But this alone, I mean, the packaging is really cute, but I just don't think it's a great mascara. For the products, we get to try Soaking Up Ray's Body Illuminator. I have been wanting a body illuminator for literally like the past like five or six months. So I am happy that I got it in the box, but I am disappointed that it spilled all over and it's still extremely oily. So I'm gonna have to like clean it all up. And again, for the product that we didn't get to use was the body scrub. I am so excited to use this and I can't wait to see like how it smells. I was gonna open it up, but these packages are so hard to open and I've almost broken a whole nail already. Guys, I think that was it for the PR collection. Oh yeah, and the sponge. I absolutely freaking love this sponge. And for some reason, I feel like this is a little bit bigger than the original Wet n Wild sponge, but I love this and I can't wait to use the surfboard to clean my brushes and this sponge. Overall, you guys, the whole PR box, I do think it's worth it because it is such a cute collection. But other than that, if you see just a couple things you like, just get the couple things you like. You don't have to buy the PR box because not everything in this box was great. Let me just go ahead and give you guys a close up. So if you guys like this video or you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. But yeah, guys, other than that, I got to get off here because I got to go pick my daughter up and I got to start editing this video so I can get it out by tomorrow. So yeah, guys, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for sitting here and hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.